Hello everyone! Thank you to the PCCI for organizing this forum and for graciously inviting us to be part of this plenary with my fellow candidates. Our presidency would mean freedom for our people. Freedom from the threat of illness, freedom from hunger, and freedom from the inadequacies of education that lead to uncertainties of the future. With Filipinos safe from the grip of the pandemic, it would mean freedom to dream and freedom to pursue those dreams. You all know the situation we are in. Thousands are still getting sick. Many have lost their loved ones. Even more are bending over backwards to put food on the table, doing everything to survive another day. Hospitals are filled to capacity. Health workers are buckling under immense strain. And millions of Filipinos are inching closer to poverty and hunger. Meanwhile, as Filipinos struggle to stay afloat, billions upon billions of pesos are lost to questionable transactions in government, and countless lives are lost due to corrupt and incompetent governance. It is clear, the lack of good governance lies at the root of many of our problems. We must free ourselves from the ills of corruption, incompetence, and lack of compassion. In its place should be a government that is honest and accountable, that puts the interests of the people front and center, that respects the life and dignity of every Filipino. With this kind of governance in place, imagine how much loss we could have avoided, how much progress we could have gained, how many more lives we could have saved. As I always say, the 2022 elections is not just any other election, because what is at stake are the lives of the Filipino people the lives of our children, and the generations that will come after. We are fighting for their children, their loved ones, their communities, the whole country. For many Filipinos, this is not a matter of personalities. This is a matter of survival. If we are fortunate to be elected president, we will inherit huge challenges, and it will take great effort to rise to them. We will continue to focus, at least in the first 100 days, on addressing the challenges of the pandemic. Last week, we presented to the public our Kalayaan sa COVID-19 plan, which focuses on three freedoms that are crucial for us to overcome the challenges of the pandemic. Kalayaan mula sa pangambang magkasakit, kalayaan mula sa gutom, at kalayaan mula sa kakulangan sa edukasyon. The details of our platform are readily available on our website. Every step, every plan will be informed by the values and aspirations we share. All of them will be underpinned by good governance, by leadership that is competent and compassionate, one that ensures that no one is left behind as we chart the best path forward. The coming elections is not about me or any other candidate. It is about every Filipino. We are all on the same side. We are bound by the same dreams, for our families and our communities. And each of us has the power to bring significant change and build a better future for our country. We need to engage all of society in rebuilding our broken nation and determining the course we take together as a people. And most importantly, make the lives of all Filipinos, especially those left behind, better, safer, healthier, and more secure. I have no doubt that with our collective strength, all our dreams are within reach. Again, thank you very much and mabuhay.